Let's start off with the fight against illegal mining. An alliance of the New Patriotic uh, Party foot soldiers is uh, this afternoon imploring the immediate past chairperson of the New Patriotic Party, Freddie Blay, to reconsider his decision to enter appearance as defense counsel for four Chinese nationals standing trial, uh, together with businesswoman Aisha Huan over their alleged involvement in illegal mining. Freddie Blay earlier this morning told the Super Morning Show team on Joy 89.7 FM uh, that his defense for the expatriates is so born out of legal representation and the fact that these uh, other accomplices are innocent. We take instructions from our clients and we defend and we defend it to the best of our ability based on the law. Nothing else. Am I defending my clients before you or before the court? Don't just get up and make it look like as if when you are defending an individual or somebody who been arraigned before court, you are yourself guilty and you are asking me questions. Um, are they my friends? Uh, do I come from China? Have I had any relationship with them? These are not relevant questions. You are if conscious you of a politician uh, 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 who is a professional lawyer, if I may who ask has the, the firm yes. and have been instructed to not because he's a politician. NDC members are all, some of them, Baba Jamal and Co. They are all involved in defending, as lawyers, they are defending their kind of Chinese individuals before the court. And you are asking me, because I am Freddie Bay and I am a member of a party or i was a, a chairman of the party me i should not even be a defense counsel or my firm should not take instructions from a client mr blay nobody be here, a murderer, nobody a, here has a said that accused of business or or a cool leader is that what you are saying mr blay nobody is that here has the said impression that. you want to create in this country that lawyers should not defend so you heard from the chairperson, immediate past, I should say, of the New Patriotic Party. Uh, here's jumping to the defense of these uh, nationals, but a pro-New Patriotic Party group uh, calling itself the Alliance for Foot Soldiers Advocacy. Uh, they say that the social standing of Freddie Blay will not permit him uh, to continue to hold himself out as lawyer for these uh, Chinese suspects. The group says such a move by the stalwarts of the New Patriotic Party is a direct slap on President Kufado's fight against illegal mining. So let's bring through now uh, Kamal uh, uh, Amazon Bruni, who happens to be spokesperson uh, for the Alliance uh, for Foot Soldiers Advocacy. Thank you, sir, for your time here on the poll. So I, I have to start off by asking you where the rights of these expatriates should be placed. Uh, you know uh, that our laws guarantee the rights of every individual living in this country. Uh, so if you have a lawyer defending them in court, What's uh, actually absurd about that? Kamal, you'd have to yeah, unmute. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear now. All right. Yes, uh, responding to your question, I say, uh, APA is not saying that the uh, Chinese, what's the name, uh, corporates are not uh, entitled to any legal rights or any attorney. No, that's not what we are saying. We are, well, our point is the defense counsel is both. Is at the day because I had a sound bite you played of our former chairman Blay uh, trying to water it down. Chairman Blay is not anybody in, in this fight. His, his social standing, just as you said, makes thing about this defense is putting up for, for them uh, to be a no no for Afa. Because uh, come, he's the lead counsel. Because yesterday the student did for him, meaning he's the lead counsel because he wasn't present. So if he has the case progresses, he's going to take it up. And as somebody uh, who's held position, the national chairmanship position, you should know that's what we call public interest. Sometimes, as a former chairman, you should know that there are decisions that people may want to take, but they look at the public reaction. And that's where the public interest comes in. Now, the government you belong to, for which you are a board chair of GMPC, but our former chairman Blade did not end the position by two of his competence. Yes, you have competence, but it is the government in power that gave it up to, to serve as a board chairman. So he shouldn't try to see himself or trying to dissuade himself from the fact that he's still an MPP person. Therefore, whatever you try to do that will punish the party's image should be of paramount interest to him as a former chairman. So he cannot, from the sound bite ahead, trying to make it seem as if he has the right. Nobody says he doesn't have the right as, as a legal practitioner. He has the right to it. But what sort of, how are you exercising that right? Ignoring the fact that there's a public interest attached to the galaxy issue.
for which an end we are attending we have uh, the media is addressing this galante issue back and forth and it's, it's, it's seen not to be ending if we so place that if we place that if we, if we place that on a balance where do you put public opinion as opposed to um the the future of i, I mean some suspects where, where do you place all of that because uh, obviously we know that the implication uh, for not having representation to clearly state your case for you could make all of these suspects end up in jail uh, if indeed and i'm assuming without admitting that they are innocent you're going to have a case where innocent persons may be sent to jail simply because they are not able to uh, prove their case so are you not i mean mindful of all of these things and the implications of uh, what the case is uh, whilst you make this call for the chairperson of the new patriotic party um, to recuse himself i'll repeat i'll repeat this point again that but it's not saying that they don't have they're not entitled to uh, legal representation that is not what APA is saying and i'll add the point is that but for freddie blaze firm and himself being involved in in this issue APA wouldn't have had any issue if they had sought the, uh, the the assistance of any legal firm that would have known it because if that right was uh, what's the name legal representation but the the, the purpose for which we issue that is look and can't be a that is equally involved in this issue and these are all people within the MP. You know, former ministers, former chairman, national chairman of, of, of our party, now board chairman of GMPC. The question one who asks, why the MPD are there? Because already there are fingers pointing to the, uh, uh, was the name, party functionaries deeply involved in this. And we are trying to do away with this kind of allegations. Our communicators are all over trying to dispel this kind of news. And lo and behold, the national chairman becomes the defense counsel for these people. Do you, how do you just justify this? And the point that is putting across. Hmm. And, and I just there want to go no, back to, uh, yeah, and I just want to go back to the statement you released um, uh, before coming right. on air. Uh, in your statement, and I just want to pick up on some of the um, wording and framing that you use. You're describing this, for instance, as a slap um, on the president's fight against illegal mining. So let's get to it. Uh, first of all, you're indicating clearly. Uh, that you're scandalized and is uh, actually dumbfounded by the decision of uh, Freddie Blade, the immediate past national chairperson of the New Patriotic Party, to uh, legally represent some of these suspects. Then you go ahead, that as much as you appreciate the fact that Freddie Blade uh, is a lawyer who uh, obviously have that, has that duty to represent clients, um, all of these things, you believe that the decision to defend the accomplices of Aja Huang is unpopular, and I'm choosing, actually quoting from your words, unpopular, yeah. morally subversive, and a direct slap on the face of President Akufado's uh, fight against illegal mining. Uh, some say that the President has already thrown in the towel. He is considered that the fight against illegal mining hasn't been easy. Uh, some even go ahead to say, well, he's lost the fight. So I'll, I'll ask you on that. And, and then there's the point where you're claiming uh, that Freddie Blaise's um, political standing, his social status vis-a-vis -vis, uh, being the uh, former national chairperson of the uh, ruling party and a board chairperson of GNPC imposes uh, some sort of obligation of due diligence, moral reflection, and the principle of uh, public perception on him to consider such a level of public interest uh, in the Aisha Huang case. Indeed, the level of environmental degradation caused by activities of illegal mining, particularly foreign nationals who have no regard for the laws of Ghana on mining, cannot be overemphasized. So um, these are some of the concerns you're raising. So I just want to pick up on the issue about how morally subvasive the concerns are and, and then come back to the demands that you're making. Uh, if you are saying that, of course, uh, Freddie Blay, giving his standing as a public officer, should not do that, then who else would? Because in the end, you still have a Ghanaian representing all of these Chinese nationals in court. So, as I told you, are just concerned about the fortunes of your political party. Is that not the case? All right, let me give you a scenario. Uh, I believe you have uh, someone representing multimedia. So another person presses charges against multimedia. Instead of the person coming to your defense, you rather decide with the person to press charges against multimedia. Definitely, but my child, you know that the person is working. Like you said, yet, but you expect that the interest of multimedia should be a part of that person. Equally, someone for the place should know that my child is a lawyer, but this 
public interest case, that appellate position, and when you say executive position, the MPP will ask the executive chairmanship position. And that's the position he's occupied. And as a board chairman, whatever he's doing, it's in federal that the party uh, succeeds, so that at least going forward, uh, Ghanaians will, will, will favorably look at them. But whatever you are doing, and it turns around to, to, to it kind of have a negative impact on the party, and yet you claim to be a political person or you belong to that, 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 that party, it will sound weird to any right thinking person. So, to me, I mean, you see, your question still boils down to the fact that I'm, I'm picking from what you are trying to say there. I don't, Chairman's Blue firm is not the only firm we have in Ghana, whereby it becomes my basically that they have to act for, for, for uh, the Chinese uh, what's the name, uh, corporates in there. That is not the case. Now, 2001, why uh, Chairman Blue is a firm? And Chairman Blue himself, before taking up this issue, should have sat through and then ha gone through a lot of uh, this thing. So we're thinking to this that, okay, I have the right to spend them as an attorney or a legal practitioner, but to what end? That the government I belong to, the government I, 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 I said as a national term, fighting, using every resources to fight the Galamse issue. No, and I go and defend these people. Remember that when you defend them and they come out, you are giving more impetus to others that when you do and then you are caught, you can get a good representation and people within the government circles to come out and defend you. So what impression are we? Are we putting out there? And I don't think your assertion that the president has has thrown in the, the towel is anything I'll go I'll, I'll go with because the president was in Kumasi recently, Ashanti region, to meet uh, the Council of Chiefs and some of his uh, MNBCs, and you heard the language, the demeanor of the president, strong wording, and he told them point blank that he's not threatening them, but should any case come to him, he'll be forced and then historically investigated. The person is likely to lose his or her position. That should tell you how serious the president is. And the president who is throwing a towel on the Lamsey will not go meeting the appointees and then putting strong warnings uh, before them that the action or actions I'm likely to take against you should be complicit in, in the act. And remember, one M M M M MC or the DC had to, to the Jubilee House to come and answer the questions. So that should tell you that the fight is not, is, uh, is not lost. It's come out, come out. Uh, your, group, your group is being accused of being overly fixated on um, Freddie Blake. Take a look at uh, defense for Aisha Huang herself. This is someone who is a former government appointee, served um, in the Interior Ministry. You were silent at the time we had lawyer Efad Date come to the defense. I recall him uh, speaking on the show, jump to the defense of Aisha Huang. You were very quiet about that. So why come out now when Freddie Blake is simply doing um, what many believe is in line with his profession? He's a lawyer. The fact that you've not read any statement from us is not suggestive of the fact that we were, we were sort of what uh, Captain Cabo and Cabo was saying there. You get it. It's everything has what we call time and season. So when you sit and do the analysis, you look at, uh, just as I told you, look at how many weeks on end that we are discussing the Lamsey issue. The Lamsey has changed in, in this country for, years, for decades. But look at now the attention the media. I believe some years ago also, you wouldn't have given the Lamsey issue a topical, uh, this, it wouldn't be topical on your news item. But today it is. And to the fact that as you are sitting there, should someone accuse you of indulging in the Lamsey today, it basically be a negative tag on you. You want mm -hmm. to do all, all that you can within your, your power to purge yourself of, of that. So it tells you the dynamics that uh, we found ourselves in and for which Afa had to come at this time. So the timing shouldn't be of a problem at all. Yeah, but you're still silent. Chairman you're Blue. still silent. You agree? You're still silent on the issue about lawyer Efadate. You're not speaking about him. This is a stalwart of the new patriotic party. And I'm saying that the fact that you've not read anything from Afa it's not suggestive of our silence. And this coming, you hear things from us. It's a started just rolling. So take it as, as that for now. Okay. Uh, that, uh, let's, we are going to try let's to send the airport of our government to make sure that. Right. So, so let's, look at, let's look at the remedial measures now. Let's look at the remedial measures now. Come on. The issue about the way forward. What's your demand from the new Patriotic Party? And exactly. Um, what are you asking the new leadership? Of course, Chairman Blaise no longer the new Patriotic Party chair. Um, what's your demand from, from the current crop of executives 
leading your party? You know, and I think one of the suggestions some uh, APA will make to the new leadership is to put before Mr. President, just as excellent inside falls within a jurisdiction of any uh, an MMDC to put it. So there is no guarantee activity now, and they are in charge of the uh, DICEG or uh, municipal security. They are in charge of it. So there is no way a guarantee activity will be ongoing, and NMC will claim to be in no of it. So I would suggest that they should put their jobs online. Once the news of it come come up, the president should not entertain it. Fire you. Once that thing begins, I can tell you it will be curtailed. Definitely, you cannot even uh, kind of. Totally uh, stop it, but at least it, it, it will totally make a certain extent. Mm. So that is some of the recommendations, one of the recommendations we, we put up. And then uh, when you look at chiefs are also involved in this, and some of them claim that they will just, just and then uh, people will come with letters from uh, general commission to their, their jurisdiction, and then they will just show you to them that they have the legal right to, to mine. So I think there should be some kind of uh, linkage where the Mineral station, the municipal assembly, and the chiefs can come together before somebody comes there to mine. The chiefs are already in the know. The assembly is as well, uh, well briefed before the person comes, and they know the exact site because some people take the, the permit and then they went use it for other, other, okay. other illegal. Okay. Uh, so, so finally, uh, since your statement was on uh, Freddie Blay, uh, what are we to expect if we don't have him um, taking a back seat in this whole Asha Huan case? Uh, what do you intend to do? Uh, is there any petition uh, coming through? Uh, what's the next line of action? Officially, after we, we, we petition Chairman Blade and, 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 and call on him, that he should look at the interests of the party and the government is serving, and he should know that the key fight now for the president is the Kalamse issue. And as the president has put it, uh, his presidency on, he shouldn't be one of the people. We should be one of the people who will help the president to succeed and not be one actor in the Balamsee fight that will help derail the efforts of the president. Mm. That's what we we'll say. Anyway, and we'll be on the lookout for that petition. Kamal Bruni, thank you for your time uh, here on the podcast. <laughs>